Hi, this is a tutorial on Chem Quest number 43. Let's start with the first question. It's asking what happens to the rate of a reaction as the concentrations of the reactants increase. So if you look at the data table, you can come to the conclusion that the higher the concentration of reactants, the faster the rate. For example, the rate corresponding to experiment 4 is greater than the rate in experiment 1, and experiment 4 also has a greater concentration of reactants. Number two, the answer is that when concentration changes, so does the number of molecules that collide and react with each other. Number three, um, does the reaction depend on the concentration of ClO2 and the concentration of OH- equally? And the answer is that the rate depends more on the concentration of ClO2 rather than the concentration of OH-. So, for example, comparing experiments 1 and 2, we can see that when the concentration of ClO2 is doubled and the concentration of OH- is held constant, the rate increases by a factor of 4. When we compare experiments 2 and 4, when the concentration of OH- is doubled, we see that the rate only increases by a factor of 2. Number 4, the answer is that you always need a control. One of the concentrations needs to remain constant. In experiments 1 and 4, both the concentration of ClO2 and OH- change, so they're not the most appropriate experiments to use to determine how the reaction depends on the concentration of ClO2. Number 5, the answer is experiments 1 and 3. Because the concentration of ClO2 remains constant in these two experiments, which is what we just, just discussed in question number 4. Number six, the answers to the second power, which means the rate of reaction is the concentration raised to the second power. Number seven is the first power, which means the rate of reaction will increase by the same factor. There's like no special calculations, like it's just the same factor, whereas in number six it was double or it was to the second power. Number eight again is to the second power, which means the rate of reaction is the concentration raised to the second power. And again, number 9 is the first power, which means the rate of reaction will increase by the same factor. Okay. Number 10 is telling you to use answer 6 and 8 and explain what second order means. Second order means that if the concentration increases by any value, then the rate increases by that same value to the second power. Number 11 is essentially the same, but you're using questions 7 and 9, and you're explaining what first order means. Same thing, basically, it means if the concentration increases by any value, then the rate increases by that value to the first power. Number 12. Can you find the order for a reaction just by looking at the balanced equation? The answer is no. You must have experimental data. The orders of reactants are not the same as the coefficients in the balanced equation. So as you can see, um, in the balanced equation given at the beginning of the section, it doesn't correspond with finding the order for a reactant by the balanced equation. It just doesn't work like that. You need the data. Number 13. Um, the overall order of the reaction for this reaction is third order. Explain how this overall order is found. You basically just add all the orders up for all the reactants and that's your overall order. Okay, number 14. Um, we're going to figure out the relationship between the order of the reactant and the exponent for the reactant in the rate law. Basically, the order for reactant is equals the exponent in rate law. Simple as that. Number 15, we're going to verify that the rate constant is 230 over molarity squared seconds using the data from experiment 3, and then we're going to solve for k to verify the units. So our rate law is rate equals k times the concentration of ClO2 squared times the concentration of OH- minus to the first power. Okay, if we plug in our data from experiment 3, we get 0 0.00552 equals k times 0 0.02 squared times 0 0.06. You get a k value of 230 over molarity squared seconds. Number 16. Using the rate constant, calculate the rate of reaction when the concentrations of ClO2 is 0.32 and OH- is 0.42. We plug it in the same rate law as number 15. Calculate it all out, and you get the value to be 9.89 molarities per second. 